Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. What is going on everybody? This is Stryker welcoming you to Life is Strange episode number one. So those of you who have stuck around the channel for a little while know that I have played Life is Strange Before the Storm, which is the prequel, prequel sequel, holy crap, to this game, guys. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. This is also admittedly the fifth time I've tried, maybe sixth time actually, trying to record this, uh, this introduction because I had massive friggin' issues. We'll see if they persist throughout here, but I did not get much further than like three minutes into the whole thing anyway. So, also if I sound slightly different, it's because my microphone, Holy I bumped shit. up the, uh, just the actual native volume that it produces whenever I speak. So, hopefully I'm a little bit louder, a little bit more understandable over videos. Uh, in my last Fortnite video, that's actually where I kind of realized that my microphone was getting a little too quiet. And I'll probably have, uh, his audio bumped this just, just down a little so bit. I tried changing the audio the settings, but little pieces I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. Like, you know, let me know if I'm too loud. Let me know if the game's too loud, etc. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. Okay, before we move forward with the story. So, this is Max. Max is the character that was alluded to several times when we were doing the prequel sequel, which is Life is Strange Before the Storm, where we got to meet Chloe and her relationship with Rachel. Now, this game kind of focuses on both Chloe and Rachel, but in a kind of different perspective. Uh, like I said, Max was not in that prequel sequel, but because I already played that and I really enjoyed the game, I wanted to play this, especially because uh, Life is Strange 2 is an episodic game kind of set up like The Walking Dead, or I believe only the first episode is out right now. So it should be coming out continually further. So I'm going to play this. Life is Strange 2. And then I think there's a offshoot title as well. That's just kind of like in a related universe. So we'll probably play that as well. But anyways, hi, how y'all doing? It's been a couple of weeks since I recorded a video. So maybe I'm a little bit, I don't know, a little bit sideways on the way I'm commentating and all that business. But once I get this vid video edited, I'll be able to figure out what's going wrong. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. Let's go ahead and hop back into it, shall we? Light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. And I'm hoping, now, oops, sorry, I'm can you hoping give me an example of a photographer things work the way I hope they do. The human I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. Oh, sick, there it actually go, worked. Why okay, Arbus? so, because get a mental image. Hopeless... So before, that little bit with the arrow that said look on it, was completely invisible. The only time you could see it was when it crossed her head. Like if her head was overlapping that little illustration, you could see it. But otherwise, not a chance in hell. Made this game super clunky. That's why I had to try recording it. I think five other times. This is my sixth time trying to record the introduction. But literally like after I choose to look at this photo is when I quit before. So I promise everything is new. I will... A little bit of a side note, I know we haven't jumped into it yet, but back in 2015 when this game came out, I actually did watch somebody play through it, but it's been almost four years. Three and a half years, four years, so I really don't remember a whole lot outside of, like, the main plot line. So, I think that's it. I think that's all I got to say, alright? Thank you guys for stopping by. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Okay, third, third I can hear the class person. laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't frankly, believe I cool. still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Seriously though, I haven't I kept up with my journal as much as I should. We're just looking at everything. Make sure we got a good baseline. Still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. Okay. So I've got this I do camera. Love my analog camera. Too obvious. I should take a quick picture now. Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their Sounds beauty great. or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. That's good. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. Was there Our like a super duper non-famous photo from John the Legend? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. John Legend, that's not the name. Long as it's been around. John Lennon. 
That's the name now, I look Max, for. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? John Legend is a current pop singer. But John Lennon was a photographer back in the day? I might be way off base. Was, was it Andy Warhol? I don't know. Brother, I'm... Okay. <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody I'm here I'm stupid. Don't worry about stuff? me. <laughs> Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Who says sad face? That was so 2015. To be fair, this the Daguerrean process though. brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Can I, can I look at the, the first no. American daguerreotype self-portrait was done Let's by try to look at the Cornelius. Photo. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Also, though, and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo I'm gonna in the try Heroes contest. I'll to make it so the camera isn't as jarring. But I'm on the absolute like non-strongest option. And Alyssa, get it together. For Taylor, raw input, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry to the and camera. Yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I'm trying to talk between sentences. Basically, mouse sensitivity is all the way at the absolute lowest possible thing, and it's still freaking nuts. All right, so yeah. Now these things are popping up. Victoria doesn't waste a but second kissing weren't. ass. Literally right here is where I cut my last attempt at introduction. So we'll go ahead and look at everything. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That's a $5,300 goddamn camera. Ooh. What? All right, Kate was getting picked on, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this computer first. There we go. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Excuse cool. my hiccups. I don't know what's up, bro. Today has been a day, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, I hope I didn't embarrass you. How? How would? I'm curious. Katie, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk she to you saw her get hit in the face with the sure. paper ball, though, you know? I, I feel bad for Kate, man. She. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. We love your porn Hurt. video? What? Uh, all right then. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Hold up. Let's look at this. Let's let's take it's a pic. Make a cool shot. Yo. You see them names? See them names? You see them names? And by names I mean name, because it was Rachel Amber was her name. But Rachel Amber forever. That's kind of exciting. It kind of it kind of goes back. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm a little excited. When things tie back to prequel oh, sequels, man, they it's have those sweet ultrasonic lenses, and look at that vintage rangefinder. It's interesting, what? and it, so it's, cool it's interesting to see it tie backwards. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Annie Hold up! I saw something else over here. The amazing Eugene Smith. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. I'm gonna assume it's a good camera. probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But <laughs> I still dig my little instant camera. Tw <laughs> 20. You're telling me that this man's, Mr. Jefferson, is taking photographs with something worth twice as much as my vehicle. Okay. Okay. Yup. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Ha, bitch. I never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. 
but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do yes, have a fair. gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's a good ass dude. All right, Mr. Jefferson right now seems like a good ass dude. All right, look, look, I ain't got no goddamn time to talk to her. Look at the TV though. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Honestly, I think that's just Can't bigger than mine. Can't wait to watch too. some more documentaries on this bad boy. Oh, bruh, Mr. Jefferson out here ballin', but for real. That's awesome, dog. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you always Welcome to the real world. So if you guys haven't seen this game, which likely you have since it came out like three years ago, welcome to Life is Strange. <laughs> welcome to the base story behind the whole. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. The whole tingamajig. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Okay. When I was going through the online stuff looking for potential solutions to my problems, some people said that it's impossible to splash your face with water, and they were having issues interacting with objects. So we're gonna have to take it on a wing and a prayer. All right, obviously we're gonna find out together because at this point we're already 10 plus minutes in. I think we're at like 12 minutes in. Yo, if things go absolutely goddamn sideways, <laughs> that sucks. Y'all gonna enjoy that with me, you know what I'm saying? All right, look, can I interact? No, all right. Justin, okay, hold on. Do I? Nah, I'm already past them. I don't need their names. Look at how, look at how sensitive this mouse is. This is like a quarter of a wrist turn. All right, Stella, Brooke, Daniel, Logan. Uh, looks like Daniel's getting bullied. Missing person poster. That's not good. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Lambler. I didn't say her name right. I put an L in there. Rachel Amber. Uh, yeah, she was... I I guess half of the people. Like, half of the main people. The poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Nice. She was half of the people, basically, back from the prequel sequel. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I'm not reading shit. Y'all want to read it? Pause the damn thing. Is this another Rachel I Amber what poster? Actually happened to her. You know, I'll be honest. I can't remember if we find out or not. At home. What? Oh, gun free zone, brother Max. You gotta calm down with that kind of speech. You know what I'm saying? All right. So she did say we need a, a moment in the bathroom, and I do love the fact that she's got her, her uh, your earbuds, your phones, your plugs, whatever the hell you guys call them. I, Empty. It Clark. relates. Obviously, Nobody right now I got mine on. Down, but when me. I'm at work, your boy chilling in his earphones as well. I call them earphones. Or headphones. I kind of use them interchangeably. <gasps> Graffiti. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Amber is a bitch. All right. 10 out of 10. Is there anything back here? Firebell? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. So, so the school just leaves that shit half broken? Because it looks like the like the top third of that button is still covered by glass, but someone could just... Like, that's... Okay. This poster must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. Alright. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Now, where the hell I'm supposed to go? Oh, sink. There the it is. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. So innocent, man. Fuck you. I like it. Hold up, hold up. Mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Apparently she's having a meltdown. That This is like the most calm meltdown I have ever seen. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. She put her headphones in. She walked calmly to the bathroom and Fuck then put it. water in her face. 
But... When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. That's not pretty... That's a pretty butterfly. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I do like the kind of internal monologue, though. Okay, I, I didn't want to get too close and scare it off. Let's go ahead and take a photo, though. Good old-fashioned Polaroid camera. One of those instant developing kind of deals. Alright. We got some dude. I'm pretty sure we met this guy from the last it's game. Cool, Nathan. Nathan, that's his name. Don't okay. stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. The fuck? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got Don't hella that cash. Is. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. Whoa. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Boy's got a firearm in the school. Where's the security? Bruh. <laughs> you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Mur murder's still a capital, capital punishment. It's a capital crime. It's a, it's a first degree felony. It's a, that's a life sentence, my dude. Whoa. Yo, hold up. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. We know who that poor girl is, though. That's Chloe, if you guys aren't with the picture or with the program yet. I already... Yo, hold up. Time out. If y'all ain't seen the first one, Life is Strange Before the Storm, go ahead and go watch that, because I already done posted that thing. All right, bruh? All right, don't do as I do. Just... You, you use my gameplay as a life lesson. I, I really don't have <laughs> anything to say, but sure. Anyways. From light to shadow. From color. To now gym. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? Oh, she this. broke her camera. Condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? You go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I just got a right click. I did now, it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Dang freak it. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why if you if you guys discovered because you could do this, together, you feel like totally haunted by what the, the hell would y'all do with it? I took my selfie, Jefferson <laughs> asked me a question. <laughs> if he does again, I I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie. I got you kids doubt on this too. A wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back. Deep breath back with reality. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? We know who that girl has is. It's always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Can, can I. Can I. Oh. I can't just say daguerreotypes. I can't just reign supreme in this bitch. I can't just outshine Victoria like it's my job. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. 
Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Okay, see, we already knew this answer, though, bro. Why didn't you just let me pick daguerreotypes? Hold shift to rewind faster. Oh. Bro, Max, help. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait? It's a daguerreotype. It's, his name is, is Diego. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around enough. 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Gang, gang. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. No, I don't want to look at that. Max actually. is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget I'm the deadline to submit a photo the Everyday bro. Heroes contest. I'll fly it's out Max. the winner to San Francisco where you'll be it's feted Max. by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still All right. waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Okay, so we talked to Kate the first time. We're trying to not to disturb the timeline here. We're going to talk to Kate again. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Okay. All right, look. Look. If y'all ain't never been bullied, fuck you, first off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But second off, look, if, if someone was getting bullied, you gotta you got be nice. All right, you gotta stand up and at least be supportive. I mean, obviously, it was in the middle of class. We can't really just jump up and say, hey, don't throw paper balls, because that would be kind of a problem. That would be a, a very different social kind of situation. But... It, at least be there's a system of support, you know. We we we, we gotta take care of Kate, man. We gotta take care of Kate. I'm bouncing though, Jefferson. You keep it real. Keep talking to H Hortoria, and we'll just uh. We'll just... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. All right, I tried. <laughs> this is close. I'd let one of photography's future stars avoid I was like three feet away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. Try It'll to. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. All right, look. Go on now. It, don't it let me stop you. It, it took me like three tries. Okay, it's telling me to rewind. Press control? Okay. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me. What it, okay. Mr. Jefferson. I was it took me like 3 tries but yes. I still got it. Excuse you. No, Shut Victoria. Up. Excuse us. Oh, I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Now, let's use that. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. I don't know what his first name is, to be honest. It's Mr. Jefferson. That's all I got. All right, let's see if we can save Chloe and her dumb ass getting into all sorts of situations she ain't supposed to be in. I can't tell anybody. Ooh, shift to move faster. All right. Crazy. That's easy enough. Shift to run. I don't normally use shift to run, but it's okay. Okay, you just do it. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay. I couldn't see it. She was blocking the way, but I figured down was open. Alright, she went to the mirror. She looked at the shit. Washed her face. Saw the butterfly. Took a photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Okay, dope. We're all caught up. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. Hello? You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Take a photo. Come on, put that thing down. Hold on, can I just take a photo? Nope. All right, looks like a fire bell's it. You are going to get I need a hammer to break it open. Aw, shit. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay. Alright, so you're not affected by the rewind. So if we grab things, we get to hold on to them. Can I throw the hammer? Just... Another shitty day. Nathan's a piece of work. That did not happen. This cannot be real. As y'all knew. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Uh, yeah, if you guys follow the, the, the sequel, prequel, prequel, sequel, hey, however you want. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I uh, have to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. I'm excuse walking. For what? For Brother? whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? David. Thank you, Mr. Matson. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Pretty sure his name's David. Bro, we got a lot of catching up, and it's interesting that we played the prequel sequel to this game. When in reality, we should we should have done played this game first. But look, y'all, that's hurt my damn ears. Which means that's what we're gonna lead off with the next episode. So hopefully, you guys got a little bit of a flavor for the game. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've recorded anything. So like I said, if I, if I'm too loud, if the game's too loud, let me know. I'm gonna do a little bit of you know you know smushing around in, in editing. It's not actually smushing, but it's as close as I got. So we'll see how it goes from there. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.